and we're running Ida64 to see how temps are over there. Um, so the uh-oh in the last video was thermals are awful. Uh, I had once had a C7 cooler in this, the Cryorig C7. Great cooler overall if you're using something a little lower end, but at 95 watts, especially since I want to have somewhat of a lower decibel or a quieter system, I went with this Noctua L9A AM4. Uh, the AM4 is just specifically for this Ryzen or this Zen architecture. And after some testing, it's it's just about the same as the C7. It's slightly quieter, but the the quiet adapter for this for this fan just lowers the RPM. Uh, it's just a resistor a resistance adapter, and I've actually drilled some holes in this fan, as you can see, so I could try to exhaust because I noticed the VRAM was getting a little bit warmer than I wanted to. Um, by the way, all of these are on the 1700X that I showed in the previous video, but uh, it, even at stock settings, I know the L9A, Noctua recommends for 95 watt uh, processors that you leave it at stock, and even at stock at the highest RPM, this fan is still thermal throttling at that 75C, so that is just a standard 75C lock on these AM4 processors. So then I tried tr uh, adding this, well I took out the 92 millimeter fan, but trying a higher CFM or a higher RPM fan. This is the Cooler Master. This is one of their silent fans. Uh, you can buy these in four packs uh, for ridiculously cheap. But uh, I was able to screw this in here and secure it pretty uh, well inside this. I can see this isn't going nowhere and this isn't even screwed in. Um, but that is able to uh, reduce it. But once again, it is relatively loud. Um, but uh, only because at 75, to keep it under 75C or at 75C, at that stock, it has to be at 100% or it's gonna thermal throttle. So the best way, there are two ways to fix thermal throttling, either spiking your fan up to 100%, and that's usually at the cost of high decibels or high noise. But we want to uh, belate that as much as possible. And I will give you a little hint. There is an expensive way to fix thermal throttling. And luckily we were able to do this with the help of modmymods.com that I was able to go on there and get great customer service and uh, extremely low prices. We are able to pick up this quick release fitting from AlphaCool. They have a lot of great water cooling products. Check out their link in the description below. But I definitely want to include this quick release product from AlphaCool into the system, especially since it's going to be a small form factor build. All right, I think I've planned out the system. So obviously the block is going to go where the processor is right here. And our GPU um, and our GPU radiator combination will go into this. I had to unscrew and punch out this um, the power cable right here so we can uh, kind of fit this along here so we can squeeze that radiator in a little bit more. Uh, I may need to uh, fiddle with the uh, front I.O. port as uh, I've seen in other iterations, these are 90 degrees, but I can just solder these off and take these out. And that is a possibility uh, to have the radiator on the bottom, but I do really like having the uh, fans on the bottom so you can pull fresh in, fresh air directly from the out uh, exterior, especially since I do not believe these are static pressure fans, these slim Noctuic fans into uh, pull pull air into the radiator instead of pulling through the radiator. Um, but if we have some clearance here, I know once we put the casing on top that we may run into some clearance. I know with the rad limit grid lab. Here we go. So this is what my original uh, plan was. So we could pull air directly from the outside. But as you can see, uh, there is some clearance right here. If we just get a slight amount of clearance from that top. This may be doable, but I think the uh, everyone else from the research I've done has gone from 
uh, radiator to fan to avoid this clearance issue. But from here, I'll connect to the GPU. In the GPU, there is a slight hole that I uh, can open right here that we can feed see some tubing back through here and kind of connect it in a cyclical kind of motion and then I will be able to and then I will be able to put a flow meter either here or in here since we don't have a lot of um, cables right here I'm using the stock Integra or the Intra yeah it's Integra <laughs> that's an Integra but Integra um, Power supply here, 450 watts, it should be fine with the 1070 and the uh, 1700X Ryzen processor, uh, as well as the pump and everything else. But uh, I think our next part is to disassemble that AIO. We got that planned together. We're going to disassemble the AIO, uh, clean out the GPU. I'm gonna try Cute as hell, baby Hotter than flames Wanna burn together In a million ways Now let me take the lead Know you wanna play with me Got secrets you might wanna see You might wanna see You might wanna So as you can see with the modded configuration without those USB ports, this radiator fits like a glove. And uh, we'll just have to put some fans on here. Here's one of them. Uh, feed that through here. It'll go on top like this. And then our GPU will just slide in here. Maybe it'll just get a test fit if I can fit it in here at this weird angle. Can I get that in the bracket? Okay, so there we go. And then I'll just slide into place. And as you can see, 
push that back. We do have a little bit of sag. Uh, maybe we could fix that with a longer screw in the back or something of the, uh, similar to that. But as you can see, we have these fittings right here, run over to here. This fitting can run over to the back and through that grommeted hole we've already said, and this fitting will feed back into the GPU. So it looks like we do have a good six to seven millimeters right here, um, which is wonderful for airflow. So um, we'll just move on to the next step. So I think that's gonna be it for today. Uh, part one, we've we've done everything that we can do. We've got all of uh, the cooling parts in there, the radiator, the fans, the GPU. We got the run kind of built together, and we'll see how that goes on to the next part. But I hope you guys like this video so far. Again, stay tuned for part two, and make sure to check out modmymods.com if you are looking for water cooling parts or looking to have the quick release fitting from AlphaCool in your own water cooled build. But this is definitely tech.